Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to go through a bunch of photography from over the years with Michael Myers related stuff. Be it life-size masks like that, or custom figures like these ones here. And I'll try my best to keep up with the images as they speed by. So that, for instance, is a Mad Bug V2 head sculpt painted and haired by Silent Surfer. With a Shadow Fergo real metal and wood knife and the Yunsil coveralls that were dyed with a bluish dye. And TV in the background, lighting strategically placed. That's a cool picture there as well as trying to copy exactly that famous image. I was going to make a video on that, but I didn't get around to it. There's the One's Customs Blackest Eyes V2 head sculpt. There's Ryan Harper's head sculpt of the 2018. There's the Tots head and some young seal coveralls with a Shadow Fergo knife. That's a really cool combo right there. That was before I even repainted the Tots head. Just really, really good work by Trick or Treat Studios. More of Ryan Harper's custom heads here. That's the Tots 2018 head that I repainted. Really happy with that. Now that's a really cool picture now. That just kind of happened by accident. Just dicking about with my photo studio phone app. We found some flames and smoke effects that you could put on the image. It worked really well. And it's uh, one of Simon Brandolino's rehauled masks. Kind of replicating the film poster. Tried my best. It's a really hard angle to try and recapture from that 2018 film poster. Uh, again, it's the Madbug V2 in front of the TV. And there is my life-size 78 mask with my lunchbox. Love this picture here of the Tots figure looking up as if Bob's pinned to the wall. And there's one of Ryan Harper's custom heads again. And there's another one of Shadow Fergo's custom knives. He does amazing work. There's my latest mask. My one and only 2018 mask now. Used to have three, now I've just narrowed it down to this one. And it's Ryan Harper's custom head again. And that's just a sick image right there. The side profile on this head sculpt is just amazing. Any angle, it looks fantastic. And there's Glenn Page's diorama from Cult Creations. Doing an amazing job with that. Just so much fun taking pictures of Myers. So, ah, in the flames, the end of the film. Just savage, mad bug V2 again. Look at the weathering and the mask itself. That's an older 78 mask that I sold since then. It's one of Ryan Harper's earlier sculpts. I love this picture here. That's my figure in front of the TV. Looks very real. And that's what you're aiming for, really. You're just trying to... There's quite a few of these coming up throughout the video in different places. But I really love that shot as well. They're always trying to match the lighting around the figure to try and match what the TV's showing. Which is tricky. But that one turned out pretty good too. <laughs> and then we go to the... It's a bit jarring seeing that mask suddenly come up on the screen. That's the Retro Cloth Halloween 2 figure back there holding up the scalpel. That's a really cool one there. Life-size mannequin. The Tots rehauled mask on it. Simon Brandolino on Instagram does those masks. And a side profile on the Mad Bug V2. Beautiful. In the light box. Showing up all the weathering on the mask. Yeah, Silent Surfer. Doing an amazing job with that. Now that's the picture, man. I was trying to replicate the top of the stairs. Very nice. There's the Beto Metalli original 78 pumpkin in the background. In the Myers house. And I really like this picture as well. Again, that's the Mad Bug V2. Check out the hair. The coveralls, the knife. Oh, I love this picture. Look at the lighting. That is... I should get that turned into a poster. I've done that with a few of my pictures, but... Don't mean to toot my own horn, but... Psh, some of these pictures are alright. They're not too bad. <laughs> They're not all great. That's a good one. Bit of backlight on the back of the hair there to get the horns. That's a picture, man. Look at the eyes subtly just peering through. That's a sick one of the Tots head tilted to the side there. There's me Halloween 2. That's not really looking like that anymore. I changed the head. But I love this picture as well. Coming for Laurie across the street. Very nice. Very nice. See, I haven't really looked at all of these as I put them in Final Cut Pro here to talk over the top of them. I just grab them all and then just chuck them in so they're not in order. They're all coming up randomly and I'm not too sure what's going to come up next. I love that one. Love that one. 
that's just in front of the TV again. Mad Bug V2 Scope, Yunsil Coveralls, Bait and Metallic Pumpkin, Shadow Frogo Knife. Love this one too. They're blue, but they look green in this picture, those coveralls. That's the thing about it. Love that one. That's a good shot. Yeah, hair could use a bit of a tweak in this one. Not the best with the hairstyling, but the lighting for the mask looks pretty good. It's got the Nick Castle stretch, the Mad Bug V2 sculpt that you're looking at there. It's got that purposefully kind of stretched look to it. Yeah, that's all right. It's not too good. Moving on. That's a good one. That's a good one. Gritty. Getting that blue light to try and match the background, the TV. That's just a raw picture of the Tots figure. Again, Tots head sculpt holding up the phone. Ryan Harper's prototype, I guess, for the Halloween kill sculpt there. Amazing detail. There's the Tots head again. Ah, look at that. That looks cool. Beautiful. Well done, me. <laughs> Pumpkin at his feet. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, here we go. Halloween 2. Heading to Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. Yeah, so this was just some messing around. Just trying to film some footage of the figure in front of the TV. And have it look kind of natural. Trying to anyway. These coveralls are very much blue. But they came across green on screen here. Which is what you want for Halloween 2 really. So... It all worked out for the best. That's one of Ryan Harper's earlier Halloween 2 sculpts. I've got a more recent one since then. Definitely an improvement, but this one was great as well. That's the Joker Bitch pose. Yep. Another one of Ryan's head sculpts. Look at the horns. Look at the hair at the top. Oh, I love this shot here of the Trick or Treat Studios 2018 figure. This is before I repainted it, these pictures. And sold this mask now. That's gone. Tot's head again. Oh, blown off fingers. Look at the detail on that. Alex Ray, responsible for those hands. There's my mask in the kitchen. Something about that spot in the kitchen just always looks good when you take pictures of it there. There's my latest mask from Simon. And there is the Rob Zombie 2007 head sculpt by Simon and the Halloween Kills head sculpt which is amazing oh look at the detail on the side of it here looks like a Calvin Klein picture <laughs> Rob Zombie Myers look at the coveralls weathered those there it is Halloween Kills you saw it here first Ryan Harper up to his old tricks getting it done Todd's head on the green coveralls from Tanila Repainted, reworked, 2018. Beautiful piece, look at that. Oh, I love this shot. You probably get quite a few of these kind of shots coming up now. Just trying to capture the vibe. Oh, I love that. That's probably one of my favorite pictures right there. Notice the slant in the shoulder that James Drew Courtney sometimes has. And that picture too, that's a really nice one. It's not too bad, not too bad. So, waiting for Trick or Treat Studios to officially announce the Dick Warlock Halloween 2 one six scale figure. Curious if they're going to be doing H2O Myers, Resurrection Myers. I'm sure they will. They're probably going to do all of them eventually. There's a nice shot there. Oh, I love that shot. You get to see quite a few different characters in that one. Black and white. Classy. It's the moment where he grabs, uh, was this Tommy? No, not Tommy. Oh, the kid outside the school. That's the pose I was going for. As I'm sure most of you would instantly know, because you know your stuff. No flies on you guys. You gotta get up pretty early in the morning to catch up the Mars community. That's a nice one there. Halloween kills. Ooh, burnt. Oh, showing the same picture twice. Get it right, Dean. <laughs> There, Halloween 2 in the hospital, very nice. Ryan Harper head sculpt, put the bullet holes in the coveralls myself. Yeah. 
eyes are quite prominent on that version nice weathering though good colouring to the mask it's got that kind of off yellowish white Halloween 2 look oh man creepy just stalking the corridors of Haddonfield Hospital but it's just one of my favourite things to do guys is just take pictures of the stuff that I have and just enjoy it and share it with you guys and just just pump it out there into the communities and might inspire people to do something or start collecting stuff or people who don't collect stuff but just enjoy Halloween the franchise and just maybe get a kick out of seeing this kind of thing and sort of you know experience it just through different collectors on YouTube there's some really good people some really amazing collections and um, yeah man so many to mention too many to mention really but there's some great folks out there just more pictures here of the Mad Bug V2 looking awesome I don't know how Silent Surf had painted it. It must have been with an airbrush and maybe a combination of paintbrush and airbrush. That's me there. <laughs> That's me again in one of my masks. That's the Necker quarter scale rehead. Not too bad. Yeah, the hair was really good on that one. It took ages to hair that head. <laughs> Pain in the ass. Not fun to do. I never look forward to hairing Myers' heads, but it's worth it though. That's a cool picture right there. Yep, Mad Bug V2 again. Young Silk Coveralls, Shadow Fogo Knife, Bruce Banner Body. That's what you're looking at right there. That's a sick picture right there. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. And you have sold that mask. It's gone. Bye bye. Went to a good home. And there's my rehead Necker quarter scale Rob Zombie Mars. It's an old 78 mask that Simon did for me. And there's the Mad Bug V2 again in the back garden. Amazing paint job on it, seriously. It still kind of blows me away, even though I've had it for a good few years now. Look at it, just the proportions, everything. Posture, the boots, everything about that figure is perfect. Incredible. That's uh, the phone there. Oh, that's me. That's one of my favorite pictures of me dressed up as Myers. There's just more Myers stuff scattered around everywhere. So, this is not everything. Oh, well, there's the Mezco 12, uh, sorry, 112 scale figure. There's another Mezco Myers right there. It's a really nice piece. Comes with a great pumpkin that you can use as a 1 6 scale pumpkin. There's Bob. There's the uh, Ultimate Halloween 2 Necker. Myers, there's the Retro Cloth Necker Myers, Halloween 2. There's the Ultimate Laurie and Michael from 2018 by Necker. And yep, 1 6 scale there, custom. Oh man, that's a gorgeous mask from Simon. There's the Tots figure, completely stock, Tots 78, and the Glen Page Cult Creations diorama. So that's the figure straight out of the box. Looks incredible. Black and white just to just for the sake of it <laughs> yeah, man. really cool piece amazing head sculpt great coveralls he's reaching for your shoe yeah perfect 78 there's the retro cloth again it's great that they gave you the background with the retro cloth there <laughs> that's some fun taking these more diorama action from Glenn Page. There's Loomis. And that's when I realized I could move the arms on my mannequin. <laughs> There's me messing about. And that's one of my favorite pictures of the Mad Bug V2 in the diorama. I actually had that one printed and framed. Uh, Choker Bitch. And more stock 78 Tots figure. Look at it, man. It's just a beautiful piece. Yep. That's creepy. Nice. That was in the kitchen. 
just sitting there at the kitchen table and that was when I first repainted the tots head came out really good yeah oh god bullet holes riddled and that's an old mask now that one oh there's the bait of metalli 2018 there's me <laughs> top of the stairs so I think we're getting to the end now at last if I remember correctly these are the last sort of handful of images I chucked in so thank you guys for all of your support on the Myers videos and all the other videos that I've been doing over the years and just it's really um, just an honor to get to just pump out stuff and you guys watch it and just I'm just grateful that anyone would watch what I do and grateful to all the guys who join up with the live streams on Fridays got one coming up tomorrow 8 p.m. UK time so I'll see you there if you're around and uh, drop a like on the video if you remember to do that that'd be great subscribe to the channel see you soon take it easy bye bye